you're probably wondering why I'm recording my grocery shopping trip. And it does seem a little strange, I'll admit, but the key to the whole thing lies right over there. Oh, well, I guess you can't really see what's over there, but you know what, why don't we just go just take a look. We got Zima. So you probably have already heard that Zima has made its miraculous return, a throwback to the 90s that seems to be pretty popular lately. So this video is not going to be about taste testing the Zima itself. What it is going to be about is the popular Zima Skittles trick. Now, I never got into Zima when I was 16, the first time it was around. So I never tried the Skittles thing. So if you're not aware, the whole trick is that you soak the Skittles in a bottle of Zima, and it's supposed to make it taste less shitty, I guess. We'll see if that's true. Now we're also going to try the fruit roll-up trick. I was turned on to this by a recent Dino Drac post where he talked about Zima being back, and it's similar to the Skittles. We're just going to put the fruit roll-up into a bottle of Zima, and it's supposed to change the flavor. But lastly, we're going to do some fruit snacks. Nobody told me about this. I just figured, why not? Also, it's Pokemon fruit snacks, so that's even better. So let's give this a try. So we let the candy soak in the Zima for a little bit. Now it's time to find out how they taste. Now as you saw, I used only yellow Skittles because they are the best Skittles in the bag. Let's see what a lemon Zima tastes like. Yeah, I can kind of taste the difference. It's not as lemony as I thought it was going to be. It really is just straight Zima with a little tinge of lemon to it. I do like all the gunk sitting at the bottom of the bottle though. That's kind of cool. I guess, yeah, mixing it up a little bit, I do get a little bit more like a Mike's Hard Lemonade out of this. Nothing spectacular, but... Yeah, and at least it's better than just plain old Zima, so that's something. I'll give it a thumbs up. 
Next we have the fruit roll-up. Like I said, I got this idea from a Dino Drac article. I'm going to link to that down below. What I didn't like about the Fruit Loop is that it took a while for it to steep. As you saw with the Skittles, as soon as I plopped them in there, the thing started bubbling up and it, it looked pretty much ready to drink. But this one I really had to let sit in order to get anything out of. But now that I did let it sit, probably for like an hour or so, you can see that it's a nice thorough pink, but isn't any good. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. That's got a real strong strawberry flavor to it. Not much of the Zima. It's got a little bit of the bite, but other than that, yeah, so far the fruit roll ups definitely the front runner. And the fruit snacks. Yeah, there's nothing going on here. I don't have high hopes for this. Actually, no, that's not bad. There's no real specific flavor to it. But it does cut the acidity of the Zima. Makes it real smooth. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. I mean, like I said, it doesn't have a flavor. It just kind of melds with the natural flavor of the Zima. But just makes it much easier to drink. This is a winner, too. Now, you may have spotted that I grabbed a Payday Texas Barbecue. Now, this is one of the special edition candy bars from Hershey's. And it's the first one that I've seen in stores. I wasn't about to let this slide. Is it any good? I guess there's really only one way to find out. As you can see, the light brown caramel surrounded by some red flaked peanuts. It smells really barbecuey. Almost like barbecue corn nuts. Let's take a bite. I'm dropping it everywhere. It's gross. Yeah, that kind of works. I mean, I like paydays. I like the simplicity of the caramel and the peanuts. It basically just smothered the whole thing in barbecue sauce. Shouldn't work. In a lot of ways, it doesn't work. Yeah. They took a gamble. I don't quite think it paid off. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm going to finish this thing. But I'm not enjoying it. That is it for the Flavored Zima Barbecue Flavored Payday Tasting. If you dug the video, make sure you hit like and subscribe to the channel. I'd greatly appreciate if you did that. Also, if you have any ideas for future videos, if there's anything you want me to try or think I should try or want to trick me into trying, you can always leave a comment down below or you can hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at Idiot at Play. So thanks again for watching. I'm Mike, the Idiot at Play, and hopefully we'll see you soon if I don't die from that payday.